staying away from processed foods is easier when you remember they're foods that have been altered from their natural state. Have you ever wondered why processed foods stay fresh for months when the same food made from scratch starts turning moldy in just a couple of days? It's because food manufacturers use man-made ingredients to prolong a product's shelf life that unfortunately may have the opposite effect on our lives. For instance, trans fats are oils infused with hydrogen. They raise bad cholesterol and lower good cholesterol. Dr. Michael Aziz, author of The Perfect 10 Diet, doesn't mince words when he tells his patients trans fats will kill them. Trans fats are really like plastic, and when we eat them, they incorporate in our cells, and the cells cannot communicate or talk to one another. In turn, hormones are disturbed. Weight gain follows, but more troubling, the risk for heart disease, cancer, stroke, infertility goes up. Trans fats are common in commercially fried food and packaged foods, especially baked goods. But you won't see the phrase trans fat in the list of ingredients. Instead, look for the word hydrogenated. And beware of labels claiming no trans fats. They're often still in there because the FDA allows food with up to a half gram of trans fat per serving to be labeled trans fat free. The problem is those servings can be small, so we eat many of them, and those half grams add up. To give you an idea of how bad trans fats are, here in New York City, it's against the law for restaurants to cook with them. So you go back to basics. Carrie Canizaro is the executive chef at the popular home restaurant. As fats, when we go for sweet, we're using buttermilk, we're using butter, and savory, we use extra virgin olive oil. Uh, we cook with a blend of extra virgin olive oil and vegetable oil. We fry with soy oil. Customers like the ban. We might as well be healthier, you know? Vending machines are often loaded with processed foods. In addition to trans fats, they often contain too much salt, which can cause heart problems and creates a craving for even more salt. Another addictive ingredient often found in processed foods is high fructose corn syrup, which is linked to obesity and diabetes. Although manufacturers contend it's nutritionally the same as sugar, others say it's worse. Former FDA toxicologist Dana Flavin says while sugar is burned and turned into energy, high fructose corn syrup turns into fat, causing what's known as fatty liver. She also says sugar can make you feel full, but high fructose corn syrup does not trigger the body's satisfaction gauge, so you always desire more. So you do eat more, and then you have more uh, a greater appetite because your, your, your body's saying, I, I haven't had enough, and your body's being fooled. High fructose corn syrup is the main ingredient in soft drinks, but is also hidden in foods like bread and pasta sauce. Dr. Stephen Sinatra, author of Metabolic Cardiology, says high fructose corn syrup and its chemical cousins are directly linked to high blood pressure and heart disease, which unfortunately most doctors treat with medication instead of going to the source. He or she may prescribe drugs when only the best treatment is loss of weight, exercise, and restriction of simple carbohydrates, sugars, and high fructose corn syrup is a top of the list. Below it, other syrups and sweeteners like dextrose, glucose, lactose, maltose. And speaking of chemical names, beware of monosodium glutamate, MSG, which adds flavor but causes high insulin secretion. And watch out for these ingredients, which usually contain MSG. Hydrolyzed protein, yeast extract, soy protein isolate, spices, natural flavorings, citric acid, anything hydrolyzed or autolyzed. So it creates headaches, migraine, but it can also lead to weight gain. And we have to be vigilant about excluding MSG with all its different names from our diet. Even white flour is a processed food. Its soft texture and mild taste is created by removing the most nutritious parts of the wheat berry, the bran and the germ. The starch left over is digested too fast in the body and can lead to weight gain, diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. By contrast, whole wheat flour includes the entire wheat berry, which is digested slowly, making us feel full longer. Processed foods not only create health risks, they also make you look old. 
Anti-aging specialist Dr. Doris Day, author of the book Forget the Facelift, says young-looking skin starts from the inside. A healthy diet is critical. Some of everything you eat, for better or worse, ends up in your skin. So if you have um, a lot of soda or chemicals, that's going to be a stress on your skin. High sugar foods, highly processed foods, you'll, you'll see it in the skin for sure. So although identifying processed foods and removing them from our diet isn't easy, it may be less trouble than dealing with the health problems they can create. Lori Johnson, CBN 